Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house and welcome to week two of my six week one room makeover challenge. Now first guys, I want to thank all of you guys who participated in week one. Oh my gosh, the response was amazing and I am looking forward to everything that all of you guys are planning. Now, from looking at all the videos, because I looked at all of the videos, um, there is a huge trend going on and a lot of us are doing bathrooms, whether they're master bathrooms or powder rooms. That seems like that is the consensus of the space that is going to be make, made over for a majority of us. But then there are some outdoor spaces there's some she sheds. It's all of these things going on and I am here for it. You guys don't know how much you guys filled my heart with joy as I began to receive all of the um, links and um, for the collaboration. And I was like, oh my God, it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming. God is so good. I am so happy with the response for this collaboration. So, now we are in week two. And for week two is I ask that you create some type of vision board, some type of visual so that we can know like what, where you're kind of headed. What's your inspiration? What is the look that you're trying to obtain? So it doesn't, didn't necessarily have to be a vision board. It, you could just show us some pictures and talk about it. And that is it. That is it for week two. And um, I, I'm really interested to see like what you guys are doing. So with no further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to share with you my vision board and what I um, plan on doing for my master bathroom. All right, so for my master bathroom, um, my ideal aesthetic is I really want it to be very fresh and I want it to be relaxing, very airy, and I want it to be a neutral space. So if you real remember my bathroom, and I'm gonna put a picture here, the color of the wall. I am gonna change the color of the wall to something bright and airy. There's only one window in that bathroom and sometimes the light and lighting is okay, but there's only one um, window. So I want to um, really play up the light that does come up the come from the window and I think it'll help if I were to change the wall color to something very bright and cheerful. Speaking of the window, I am going to um, put some type of window treatments up at the top of the window. Now my color scheme in here, of course, guys, you know, I am loving the gold. So there will be a lot of gold accents. There'll be some white, there'll be some clear, some glass. I'm gonna have a lot of those types of things going on. And I'm thinking about adding some color. So we'll see about that if I do decide to add color to that. So for, um the went for the shower area i plan on like i said hanging the shower curtains a little higher up near where there is molding up there so i'm, I'm sure those ceilings are maybe like 10 12 feet tall they're really tall and so i'm gonna um hang the mo um the the shower rod up by the molding um midway from the ceiling and then so it'll it'll hang down I plan on using some um, gold accents there as well as, like I said, gold accents by um, the window by and over by the tub. Also, 
I've been thinking about what I wanted to do with the cabinets. Now, ideally, I could get new cabinets in there, but that is not going to happen. So I want to play up um, the cabinets. So um, I'm going to show you a picture here. And I love the gold accents that are on the cabinet. So you might, I'm going to um, put change out the hardware in my cabinets for there. And then I also want to put another cabinet or shelving unit um, near the, the shower area. And we're going to play on that. Now, whether or not I'm going to decide to hang some shelvings, we'll see. Also, um, we go back to the wall color. The wall color that I chose was cream in my coffee. That is the same color wall color that you will, that I'm using in my master bedroom because I really want the areas to flow. And so um, those are the same colors now, but, but because it is in my bathroom, the color is it is so it's so bright. It does not look like it looks on my bedroom wall. So it's amazing how shadows can really change the hues of the paint when it's on your wall, but it looks really nice. Okay, so accessories. Um, the accessories that I want to use, I want to use um, like some smoke grays with the gold. I think that's gonna be real sexy. The smoke gray and um, accent with smoke grays in it, um, like this, um, what is this, this um, rug set that I'm gonna put over here really pretty i also want to bring in some um greenery like the the greenery that is on the rug when in a white pots maybe it might be um the snake plants or some type of faux type green plant and a white pot would definitely look great in there so i want to go that direction also then for all of my accessories i want there to be gold so i have here like a gold waste basket. I also have um, gold, um, the dispensers for the lotion and the soaps, apothecary jars, things like that on my sink. I really want it to be very functional because we do use that restroom, but I want it to be pretty. I want it to be spa-like. So over the uh, the counter whatever i decide to do to the counter i don't know if i might stain it because i really want to change it but it might just come up to something i just really need to clean it really good so we'll see what i'm able to do to that cabinet um that can really give it a huge pop of color we're going to see where we're going to go with that also um i want to put some type of rug down that um, will bring all these colors together. So not only just the 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 little um, bathroom rugs, I really want something like this just really draws you in. And then of course on the walls, I would like to have some type of real pretty picture, wall art, something in gold. Um, maybe I might bring in some green. I don't know yet, but I really do plan on bringing in a lot of wall art um, for that space and using a lot of natural elements in there. So um, maybe in the shower, um, I, know you, I know you guys probably have seen their mats, but they look like stones. They feel so good on your feet. I might put things like that in there um, in the shower, just different little elements. So um, I have been out and I've been um, sourcing a lot of things and I can't wait to share with you everything that I have um, come across. But what I do want you to do is to make sure that you come back next week because next week I'm gonna give you a sneak peek and you're gonna see how far I've gotten with this. So next week will be week three. We'll be at the halfway mark guys and whew, Six weeks, I probably should have did eight. <laughs> but this is so much fun. I think the hardest part for me has been trying to really find the items that I want to go in that space. 
and not just get something just to get it. I want to get um, things that I love. You know, I'm not really keen on just making knee jerk decisions. And so um, I really want to make sure that I think out my space, get um, items in there that are practical and pretty and, um, and something that I know that I feel like I can live with. So it'll seem like I really did make a huge change in the space. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you once again for all of you guys who are participating in this collaboration. And I want to thank all of you who are supporting us in this by watching us and giving everyone a thumbs up. Last week on my, um, on my channel, I tried to um, go in and everyone who was participating, I shared your um, videos on my Facebook. So hopefully that helped you guys. You received some more views and hopefully other people subscribe to your channels. And I'm going to do the same thing this week as well. So um, I'm really trying to um, help everybody and really push everyone's work because I really appreciate each and every one of you who, are, who is joining me on this journey and as well as our YouTube community. Also guys, make sure that if you're watching my video to give me a thumbs up, I really mean that, and like and share my video. That will definitely help grow my channel. It'll help me put a little bit more coins in my pocket because Poodle coming home and um, getting her back home, guys, it's, it's gonna be expensive. So anytime that you will share my videos, like my videos, give me a comment, whatever. I really appreciate it. Also guys, come on over and check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's house, just like it is here. Hit that follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. And one last thing, come on over and check me out on my Instagram. I put a new post out today and it's all about Valentine's day. You can find me at www.wani'shouse.com. All right, guys, so that's it. I'm about to go. I'm about to watch all of your videos. So before I go, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.